folds. May we ever adore you, the maker, the sustainer, and the lavish giver of all good things. Might say a praise on peace and freedom.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are indeed privileged to have a next class this afternoon. Mrs. B. Rajakumari, IPS, Superintendent of Urban Zilla Police, Raja Mahendra The Society of St. Anne is built upon a rock, that is, the will of God. It was founded in the response to the crying needs of the time, care of the sick and the expectant mothers. When a work meets the needs of time, it indicates it will pass or change. Whatever is built on the Lord is built upon solid rock. The Society of St. Anne has become an angel of charity, and angels do not die. Father Wilhelm Mayer, moved by the spirit of Jesus' compassion, built this society upon the will of God in response to the crying needs of the time. Together with Hans Von Matt, Father Wilhelm Mayer started this society and named it after St. Anne. His intention in doing so was that its members would reach out to the needy and take care of mothers and children, taking Anne, the mother of Mary, as their example. It was in the year 1910 with the blessings of Pope Pius X that this society started. The society slowly grew and spread its wings to many parts of the world to care for mothers and children. The goodwill and hard work of the society reached many places. In the year 1924, four sisters, Sister Francisca, Sister Elizabeth, Sister Magdalene, reached the Indian shores at Bimali Patnam to continue the good work of serving those in need. They immediately plunged into service, helping the sick and the dying. Though they faced many obstacles with no proper place to live and not enough for help from anyone, they kept alive the spirit of serving and helping the sick in the grimmest of situations. They have started many schools with the blessings of God and serve more. It was in the year 1951 that the sisters decided to start a school to help the poor ones who couldn't afford an education. The good work soon spread to many places like Madigula, Rajamandri, Ponnuru, Vijaywada, etc. The sisters worked tirelessly to educate the less privileged ones of the, of the society. Today, the number of schools all over India is somewhere like and make them feel wanted. Prison Ministry. Sisters of St. Anna and Jarkhan through Prison Ministry. Through the social service, the sisters bring a ray of hope to the outlaws, the brethren behind bars. Oh, 
now request our principal, Reverend Sister Jansi, to cordially extend a heartfelt welcome to our esteemed guests of honor. Good evening to one and all. Our chief guest, Superintendent of Urban Silla Police, Raj Magendra Badam, Srimadhi Rajakumari, IPS. Provincial Superior St. Tan Society, Northern Province, Reverend Sister Kusma, President of the Function, Parish Priest, RCM Church, Raj Magendravaram, Reverend Father J. Anandaram, Guest of Honor, Mr. M. Rankaprasa, Managing Director, SP Ventures, Guest of Honor, our correspondent, Sister Josephine Rose, dear fathers, sisters, principals, teachers, parents, well-wishers, distinguished guests, and my dear students. Good afternoon and very warm welcome to the fifth edition of annual sports day function. This sports day is the fitting finale of the many sporting activities we have around the year. We celebrate today the numerous victories that our children won. Our students have done very well in the various state and national level competitions. It is my privilege that on a day like this, we have our Honorable Chief Guest Srimadhi B. Rajkumari IPS. Ms. Rajkumari secured the high rank in the civil service exam of 2006. Humble beginning, notwithstanding, a mother of two children make it to the IPS. With a rank of 265, she was selected to the IPS and allotted to the Andhra Pradesh cadre. She also completed her MSc in environmental sciences from Andhra University, after which she set for herself the goal of passing the civil services. She also holds a degree of LLB. She worked as grade one, Gundu assault commander, Greyhounds, ASP trainee in Nalgonda, ASP in New Sweet, additional SP in Nisamabad, Superintendent of Police, Rangarati District, Commandant of 6th Battalion, APSP Mangalagiri, and at present she is the Urban Police District, Rajmagetravaram, Superintendent of Police from 16 by 2016 to till date. Dear Madam, your score of records, certificates of merits, awards in various fields reveal your intellectual capacity. We do have a great sense of admiration and appreciation for your achievements. It was her plan, she team, that keep a tight vigil. The SP has command not only on rapid change in traffic regulation, law and order, but also on crime against women. We are immensely blessed to have you in our midst. I express my gratitude to you for making it a priority to honor our invitation. It is fitting that an officer of your stature is our chief guest and I am sure that our boys and girls will feel proud to march in your esteemed presence. It's a matter of pride to have you, Madam, with us. We extend a warm welcome to you, dear Madam.
With all my affable greetings, I cordially welcome our President, Reverend Sister Kusma, Provincial Superior, St. Tan Society, Vishagapatna. Sister, an educationist with a great vision, have taken out time from her busy schedule to be with us this afternoon. We feel greatly honored by her presence. I can assure you that your presence here this afternoon is a source of great motivation and encouragement to the entire school. Your personal care, love and concern have nurtured this school to grow to its great height. We extend a heartfelt welcome to you, dear sister. and all who seek his guidance like the Good Shepherd. He is also the correspondent of RCM School. Father is also noted for his informative, educative and thought-provoking sermons in our church. We welcome you, dear Father, wholeheartedly for today's function. It is our pleasure and proud to introduce a person of our own, the seed of St. Anne's, Mr. M. Ranga Prasad. He did his primary and high school education from St. Anne's School. He made his